Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Uh, welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. This is kind of a bonus video. Essentially, if you watched my recent video, the Heston Blumenthal bacon and egg ice cream video, you will know why. I needed some dry ice. I ordered it from two different suppliers online, expensive. It didn't arrive in time and I realized there was actually a way to make it homemade. And I knew about that before and I was kind of put off by it, the fact that I was gonna eat with it, but apparently it's legitimate, it's the same thing. People have done it on other blogs and I just wanna give it a go. So this is uh, dry ice. I'm not gonna go into the whole science of it. There's loads of information online if you like. You need to handle it with care, so it's obviously only a small amount in there, otherwise I would be using gloves ideally. You can do loads of cool stuff with it, like the uh, recent bacon and egg ice cream I did, and also I did a video recently where uh, you can put it overnight and it actually, uh, the gases go into the fruit to make it fizzy. That was really, really cool. There's loads of other stuff you can do with it, including like making homemade cauldrons and stuff like they use in some TV shows. Um, sometimes you can put it into like a water bottle like that. If you put a little hole in the lid, the smoke will come out like faster, but in a very small area. So it look like a, is it a geyser? A geezer or I'm a geezer. What? That's a pretty cool thing. But the basic context is, um, as you guys know, on that bacon and egg video, in fact, I've just finished filming it. So I thought, hey, let's just do it straight away. Um, I went and bought a fire extinguisher a CO2 fire extinguisher, which will basically help create dry ice. And I've also got some of my custom eggs that I used uh, for that video in the fridge. Uh, so we'll try and make the ice cream and see if it tastes all right. Still going. I'm not a pro at this by any means, but I do know it's highly recommended to do this outside. Um, one of my neighbors were just having a domestic. So um, I'll try and have to put some sound or music over that if uh, that is happening. Although I'm sure some of you will want to hear what they're saying. But the four things you're going to need other than the sensible brain engaged, sensible brain, uh, some good tape, some gloves to protect your hands. I think everyone's got these garden gloves, right? They're like generic. So that or washing up gloves. Uh, a clean pillowcase. Now I've gone for brown. Most of our pillowcases are white or cream, but I wanted to hopefully show you how much ice we get out because I generally, generally have no idea. And last but not least, a CO2 fire extinguisher. That's a two kilogram one. And a random fact for you, I have never used a fire extinguisher in my life. Hashtag confidence. Let's try it. Dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. It's extremely cold and sublimates into carbon dioxide gas. So the reason we use like a cloth bag or a pillowcase is that those gases will kind of escape out of that bag and leave us with the ice. In short, what I'm gonna do is stick my gloves on, shove the nozzle of the fire extinguisher into the pillowcase, take that up, spray away. The gas should come out of it and we'll be left with cold ice. I mean, dry ice that will be cold. It's just confusing me because it's been snowing, that's all. So much ice, ice baby. All right, so that's what we're gonna tape up. Um, I, we just pull that pin out, and as far as I know, like in the movies, it's ready to go. It might seem like I'm joking about here, but please be careful if you do this. All right, <laughs> I've pinched the end of it. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good, it's all sealed up. I'm gonna hold my hand up that end with the gloved hand and push it with the other. Let's do it. Nice stable surface. How much is it? <laughs> There's still some gas escaping, so I'm gonna give it a minute and then go inside. All right, got it off. I feel like a poor man, Santa. Pugs, I bring dry ice. Oh my gosh, it's really cold. <laughs> you can hear it in there. There's, there's a good amount in there. See, most of the gas has escaped. I need to make good this. This is genuinely my pillowcase. Quite partial to a chocolate themed uh, pillowcase. Oh my gosh, it's still cold. Let's see how much we got. Oh. 
It looks like an innocent broken up meringue nest. But actually the Heston video I did, I, need, I got pellets, but I needed to grind it down into powder, which is what this is. So this might actually be better. That's really fun. You might have just heard that. We've had a bit of a boo-boo. <laughs> My egg's cracked. Don't worry, you can see that on the actual original video. I've got some spare in a tub just down there. I am so glad that I kept some spare. So we're gonna freeze up this leftover bacon egg ice cream I had. <laughs> Let's just pour the whole thing in there. All right. So now what we'll do is add in the dry ice. And for reference, this bowl is cold. And I don't know really how much to add. So I'm gonna just add in maybe a couple of heaped spoons at first. There we go, that's it starting to do that sublimation thing. And we'll just mix it through into that ice cream base. Kind of like a custard. This is what it did exactly the same as on the other video. It should lower the temperature of that custard. It should be making it into an ice cream. Oh, I can feel it getting thicker as well. It's like starting to churn it. To be fair, this is better than it was with the pellets that I use. I should have crushed those for that video. This, that video is going up before this one, so I have no doubt people will say that in the comments. <laughs> But look, you can see, we'll just keep working this through. It is supposed to look like scrambled egg, by the way. That's the whole selling point of this recipe. A little bit longer, or if you want, we can you know, add a little bit more. Mixy mix that through again. Now the one thing you need to make sure, oh yeah, that's really thickened it up. Oh my gosh, amazing. The one thing you need to make sure is that all of that ice is completely gone before you even think about eating it. So what I suggest is getting it completely dissolved and then letting it stand for like a minute or so. And there we go. <laughs> awesome. Ice cream cone as standard. Side note, anyone remember when 99 ice creams used to actually be 99p? Now they're like four quid. That's a British thing, sorry. Scooping my ice cream up. Oh yeah. If you're going into temporary ice cream man zone, uh, get a glass and just hold the cone up while you make all your others. But this is just me. As the dogs keep an eye on proceedings either side of me, let's see if it's worked. Oh my God. It's definitely worked. It's just more like the bacon and egg ice cream. It's so weird, but it just works. I had to try it, didn't I? After buying a fire extinguisher. So uh, there we go. If you do try it, be very, very careful. Check out the fizzy fruit and of course the ice cream video. Let me know down below what you want to see next and follow me on social media at my virgin kitchen for loads of behind the scenes bits and bobs. And of course, let me know what you want to see next. That was cool. That was cool. Ciao for now.